Rohit Vemula's mother and brother have chosen Ambedkar's 125th birth anniversary to convert to Buddhism. They say it's to set an example for Dalits in India. At the quaint, we're looking at Ambedkar's legacy in terms of his conversion to Buddhism, his fight for equality for Dalits in India, his economic pragmatism, and much, much more. Not many husbands would be brave enough, but Robert Vadra says he does not need his wife Priyanka to enhance his life. Bit rich coming from the country's most famous son-in-law, who's never saying never to politics. Though no one's asking. JNUSU President Kanaiya Kumar was attacked today in Nagpur by people allegedly belonging to the Bajrang Dal. The program he was taking part in was also disrupted twice. The second time, a slipper was thrown at him. Part of the reason the royal couple, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, visited the Kaziranga National Park was to raise awareness against poaching of rhinos. However, less than half a day after they left the park, a rhino was found dead, killed by AK-47 bullets by poachers in the peripheral area of the park. Major Amit Deswal of 21 Para was killed in an encounter with ZDF militants in Manipur's Tamanglong district. His body was recovered a day after the encounter and has now been flown to Imphal. What is the sweetest, saltiest, bitterest, sourest, hottest thing you've ever tasted? It is New Year across many states in India and it's time to take the taste challenge. So aren't you all anxious to know that how much has Shah Rukh Khan actually changed over the last two decades? We do a reality check as we take you back to his first ever interview done on Aapki Adalat. NBA legend Kobe Bryant played his career's final game earlier today and what a way to go. The Mamba scored 60 points in the LA Lakers victory over Utah Jazz as the regular season drew to an end. For more you can log on to The Quint and you can also download our app on Android and iOS.